In this video, we are going to take a quick look at the polyhedron tool in 3D Coat's modeling workspace. You will find that it is essentially a variation of the surface revolve tool, which we looked at in a previous video. The difference between the two is that surface revolve will revolve around your shape in a cylindrical fashion whereas the polyhedron tool will provide angular segments around your curve profile. So with that selected, I have already created a curve here in the e-panel using the closed spline draw mode. Alternatively, you could access it by hitting the Q key on your keyboard to bring up the curves quick menu. This is essentially a condensed version of the curves panel once you click on a tool, it will open up the Curves panel here in the toolbar region. You can begin creating your shape. And then in the Curves tree, you will see the curve that you have created. Once you're done, you can just hide the curve if you like. I'm going to come out of orthographic view by clicking on the little cube icon here, or I can hit the five key on the number pad and we'll zoom out. I just noticed that my curve was not created at the origin of the grid, so I will move that back manually. To do that, I'll click on the first icon, which is the Segment Edit mode. Let's go to the Transform tool. I can adjust the placement quickly here in the position fields, X, Y, and Z. I'll make that zero. I can also hide these axis handles. I don't need those at the moment. I can hit the escape key to drop the transform gizmo. Now I can select the curve either from this list menu, or I could use the pick icon here and pick it from the viewport. Once we pick their curve, we can immediately see a preview. From here, we can select which axis we want it to be projected along. I'll go back to the Y axis, and then I can choose how many sides or segments that I want. So let's go with eight. We can have it cap the top or the bottom by checking or unchecking those. And we can also increase the number of edge rings or edge loops. And when we are happy with the result, we are ready to go ahead and apply it to a layer here. So by default, you'll have polygroup one, but let's go ahead and create another blank one. And let's say you have a number of other different layers, whichever one you have selected, that's where it's going to be applied to. So I'll choose apply mesh and we have our result. And it's just that simple. And that's going to conclude this quick look at the polyhedron tool in 3D Coats Modeling Workspace. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.